Annyeonghasemika, Chanan Matt Jones and Nita. And I want to say a big hello to everyone out there. Uh, my name is Matt Jones. I'm standing on this beautiful, uh, idyllic, and very peaceful inlet on a place it's known as uh, as uh, Gwanampo. It's in an area called Noryang on an island called Namhae to the south of Korea. And as peaceful as it is now, back in 1598, on the anniversary of today, which is the 16th of December, this was the site of uh, amazing carnage at sea. And in fact, we're looking out at the place, the very place where an admiral, Eastern Shin, was struck down, mortally wounded by a sniper's bullet during the height of this battle, where Chinese and Korean naval forces uh, were pitched up against uh, Japanese naval forces, seeking to reinforce their land forces so that they could extract themselves to head back to uh, Japan after the death of their leader. Eastern Shin is uh, such a central figure to those days from 1592 to 1598 during the course of the engine war and the, the engine wars. But more, most of the time we know so much about the myth but less about the man. And I want to invite you to come on a journey with me as we go up, as we set about telling the story of Eastern Shin, the man behind the myth. Uh, myself, I've spent the last year intensely studying Eastern Shin and I've been really inspired and amazed by what I found about this man's character. And I think it's important to be shared and I think it's especially important for a foreigner like myself to share Korea's history with the world. I want to invite you to become, be, 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 to become part of this production where I'll be producing uh, along with the team this story of Eastern Shin uh, on video, uh, meant for uh, television uh, consumption. I think it's an important story that uh, needs to be told, particularly for Koreans to understand more of the complexity of the man of Eastern Shin behind the myth. We, there's so much more to learn, there's so much richness to be gained about Korea's history and traditions from learning the truth of the man. Uh, it's a great story that deserves to be told particularly the time of great change now in Korea. There's no more important time than now for this story to be told. I hope that you'll be part of this important project as we set about during 2017, telling the story about Eastern Shin, the man behind the myth. Welcome aboard.